You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop. Check it out. I have some of my Easy Bake Ultimate Oven Mixes. The two in the front row, the pretzels and the pizza, are already done. I put these on video, made them a long time ago, but I still have these. And believe it or not, I have more, but this is what we're going to be focusing on the next uh, four videos for the Easy Bake. So chocolate truffles, dessert dippers, red velvet and strawberry cakes, and then red velvet cupcakes. I'm going to wait on this one and then these two because I want to do that one. And then I will let you pick uh, which one is next at the end of the video. I'll let you decide in the comments. Uh, I know I moved around from one side of your ear to the other side. I'll try to balance that out. All right, so the Easy Bake Ultimate Oven Dessert Dippers Mixes. It looks like there's chocolate. Let's see, what does it say on the back? It says chocolate brownie. So there's a chocolate brownie. How do they get it twisted like that? Cinnamon stick pretzels and then chocolate dip mix. And uh, it'll be interesting to check them out from 2011. I will probably use one of my ultimate ovens uh, just to kind of match it up. I won't go in the mini kitchen today. Uh, but we'll see. All right, let's get this out of the box. Okay, yeah, it looks like some kind of brownie twist. I'm not sure. Is that what it is? Because it says brownie mix. One cinnamon stick pretzel mix, two brownie mixes, one chocolate dip mix, and one instruction booklet. Now, I'm banking on these. They're nowhere near as old as some of the ones I've done in the past, so shouldn't have an issue there. So we'll just assume these are fine. Let's just put the mixes out. Everything's soft. It's double wrapped. Okay, cinnamon stick, soft. Uh, chocolate dip mix, soft. Chocolate brownie, and then chocolate brownie. Okay. And then the instruction book. What am I going to need? Hey, well, we could use this oven. I've got this oven. Uh, okay, so let's do the cinnamon stick first and then the chocolate brownie twists. Oh, so it's like a fudgy kind of looking brownie. Roll it into a circle. What's this? It's like cut this here, flip it through. What's going on? All right, lots to learn here. Where does it say what do I need? Place the baking pan. What you need? Okay, so let me gather all my supplies. Let me get some uh, water. Did I hold that too close for you to get a good look at it? What's this here? Use a butter knife to cut out strips of dough. Oh, that's the cuts. One inch wide and three inches long. Reroll the dough as much as needed to make up to eight strips. Use the butter knife to make a cut down the middle of each strip. Leave about half an inch uncut on both ends. And then you're gonna take that, pull it through. It looks like bend one end of the dough up and into the middle of the cut. Gently pull the bottom through and back down. This creates a twist. Well, we're gonna give that a shot. All right, let me grab an oven, get supplies, and we will get started. All right, here we go. Now, yes, you see two ovens. Why? I don't know why. This one was, they were actually both sitting on the shelf next to me, and I thought, well, I grabbed the black one first. Hey, let me pull the other one out, and I can bake uh, twice as fast now, so I can use both ovens. Okay, because I have two different uh, mixes here. Okay, pour cinnamon stick pretzel mix. Let's start with that. First, let's get these warmed up. The light's gonna turn on. Let's get this one on. Is the light on? Yes, okay, so they are both warming up. All right, cinnamon stick, cinnamon stick pretzel mix. So basically one cinnamon stick packet. Let's get this camera down here. I had to make everything much wider than normal. Ooh, smells good. I know, you don't hear me say that often. Smells good. Usually it's something like, hmm, smells like a base bin or, you know, a storage area. Okay, so that's that. Now, let's see. Four teaspoons of water. And then mix. Okay, mix till it forms a dough. Let's do that. Four teaspoons. One. Two. Three. Four. Okay, here we go. It's been a while. Good week since I've been able to 
do a mix like this. Well, so I know I've got the next four videos set. I want to get I want to get through all of those ultimate oven mixes. And then I got to oh, and it said stick until till it forms. Use your hands to shape it. Okay, so stick it to the side, then use your hands. It smells great. It smells like um, what's that cereal? Cinnamon. Toast Crunch, that's exactly what it smells like. Okay, so stick that here. Sprinkle some flour on your countertop. That's not a countertop, but you know what I'm saying, okay. Seems like a nice consistency. I don't know if it's gonna form a dough ball though. Okay, let's get this off of here. All right. We want all of that pretzel goodness. flour down. Now, sprinkle some flour kind of, then use a rolling pin to roll the bowl of dough out flat. Okay. Okay. It doesn't say how thick. Use a butter knife to cut out strips of dough, each about one inch wide and three inches long. Hmm, the only thing I didn't grab is a ruler. Let me grab one. Got them right behind me here. Okay, three inches, three inches. That is about three inches, so let's just cut this into strips. And then one inch. One inch is about here. Let's just trim that down a little. Trim that down a little. Okay, and then cut another one. How much is this gonna make? Eight strips? There's no way. No way, that's three inches by one inch. How's that going to make eight? So it's got to be even flatter. So let me roll this out more. Not feeling it. Let's get some more flour out. What do you think? It's going to have to be super thin based on what you see here. So let's do this. This might get me two now. Yeah, that's pretty close. Okay, so that's two. One, two, and then three, four. Yeah, it's pretty close. I can roll them out more after I get the get this done. Okay, let's do that again. Okay. 
Okay, where are we at here? So from there to there is five. What do you think? Are you agreeing with this? Uh... Okay, so let's just take this and this and then go one inch down. I'll still have to roll this out one more time. About here. Okay, I think I'm gonna keep this as a piece. This looks pretty good. We're gonna add that there. Roll this out again. Okay. I don't know. I'm not feeling it. Two, four, six, eight. All right. Now. Okay, yada, yada, yada. Use the butter knife to make a cut down the middle of each strip about one inch. All right, let me, let me take one of these strips. Tell you what, let me, let me get another board in here or another mat and then I'll move this over so I can get more room to work. Okay, strip one. Okay. Cut about one inch wide and wait. Oh, use the butter knife to make a cut down the middle of each strip. Leave about a half an inch uncut on both ends. So if we just go like this. Okay. Bend one of the dough in, a dough up into the middle of the cut. Gently pull the bottom through and back down. Uh, it just doesn't seem like it's got that kind of consistency to it, but let's see if we can get this to go through and twist back. Hmm, that kind of looks like a twist, doesn't it? And back down, that's, this creates a twist. It seems really weak, you know, like the dough. But let's get on a pan. We'll call that a twist. Not the prettiest of twists, but we'll call it a twist. Let's grab another one. What do you think? I think it's a little soft. It's more like, it's not really like a bread dough. That's what I was thinking it was going to be. It's more like a, it's like a cookie dough. Doesn't it seem like that to you? You're just observing from the outside. That's a pitiful looking twist. But I'm gonna run with it. I think a lot has to do that the dough is just really soft. Let's grab a third one. Yeah, there seems really nice and loopy. Like it has a, a better twist to it than mine. Mine isn't really twisty. Right, I'm gonna leave those. I'm gonna do something else now. I'm gonna Take, uh, well, I'll take one more. Well, let me just do this. Let me just get them set. And... That's the thing about not being able to, I don't practice or test. 
I gotta roll with what I got. Yeah, that one's not gonna work. But let's just take two of these and three of these and let's just add just a little bit of flour to kind of make it a little thicker. See if that makes a difference. Yeah, see, the dough is really just like cookie dough. I'm really surprised. It's a little stiffer now. Seems a little better actually. Now I made all kinds of, uh, I made different kinds of pastries and doughs and stuff like this, so, and twists in professional settings, so. So three inches there. Let's just cut this one in half. It's close. It does seem a little better. Not great. No, oh, wait. Use a better, use a better. Bend one end of the dough up and into the middle of the cut. Gently pull the bottom through and back down. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. I just think that uh, it's not twisting because it's so soft. But we're going to leave it like that. It does look twisty. Oh, I got to spray this one. <laughs> Such a beautiful twisty. It's better, but it's still. I'm not feeling it, Easy Bake. take this last one here so I get three on each tray and then I'll put them in the two ovens now this was the softer dough so I'm probably gonna end up with that Let's use this one. Never really had this kind of problem. Well, actually I have. See, you just can't really twist. Let me twist this side through. A double twister. 
Ooh, that's a cool looking shape. It's like a noodle. All right. Okay. So let's get those uh, interesting looking cookies <laughs> into the oven. Let's hope the other ones are better. So that's what I need to move on to. So now I can bake those two trays at one time while I get the next mix ready. Okay, so there is tray number one. I'm running with it because at this point, that's how they turned out. Okay, so you know, you go right to there when you see the door close. Let's just use this one here. Now on these ovens, uh, they want the trays to go in this way. That was close. Okay, so now 12 minutes. Let me set my timer. Let me just start mixing the next uh, batch here, the chocolate brownies. Okay, need that, need that, need that. Chocolate brownie mix rooney. Hey, that's a good word, mix rooney. Yeah, let's do that. Mix a rooney, the word of the day. If you're wondering what I mean by that, well, a long time ago, I don't remember the first video, maybe somebody knows, I was seeing who was watching all the way to the end, so I'd give out little buzzwords that were kind of, you know, weird. All right, now, it's one and a half teaspoons, so here's one. I almost forgot that, off to the side, so one and a half. One. And a half. Okay, well, let's see this. I'm not going to go through trying to make twists. It's a, hopefully a different kind of twist. Ooh, that smells good, too. So basically, stir, same thing, put it in your hands. There you go. Interesting that the first one was four teaspoons of water. This is only one and a half. Now my twists were probably not made to some of your satisfaction, but you know, first time doing that with this set. Might seem easy, but it can be a challenge sometimes when you're working with stuff like this for the first time. Okay, that's nice. See, that's looking good. Pressing it really hard here to get that. Okay. That's pretty good. Ooh, besides that. Get in there. Use your hands to shape it into a ball. Sprinkle flour on your hands if the dough is sticky. Let's just do it anyway. Yeah, it's sticky. Of course it's sticky. Let's get this all cleaned off my hands. <laughs> You could just eat it, right? Okay. This is definitely firmer and it does remind me more of a brownie mix. Happy with that? Are you happy with that? Now, split the dough ball into eight or ten equal pieces. Let's put it on that mat. Okay, we still have four minutes on the other one. Mm. 
It's like a snake. Get all that out of there. Let's get that out of there. Let's just cut this in half. And let's use this. This looks like they don't give you a length or anything. Oh, about four inches long. So eight to ten. About four inches long. So I'll be able to get one, two, three maybe out of this. Okay, so that uh, eight to ten, about four inches long, four to twelve. I can get three out of that. I misplaced my little cutting tool. I'll grab something else. Okay, about four inches long. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Might be able to get a little more out of this one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's connect that to that. Okay, there you go. Four inches long. Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. It's a fun ruler. Let's just do it this way. I think with the flower, everything is just... Eight. <laughs> Eight logs. Take two of the ropes and twist them together, then push, then push, then pinch the ropes together on both ends. So they want you to just take two like this and twist. Pinch and twist. Pinch and twist. Oh, those are so much nicer than the first ones. Pinch and twist. Ooh, broke and twist. We'll hide that one down there. That one's probably going to do the same thing. So we'll squish it as we go. There we go. Pinch and twist. Those definitely look better. Okay, all right. Ooh. Okay, so what do we have here? We're in real time. Everything's happening here. We have one minute. Let's get those out of the oven. Okay, it was shifting some things around here. Timer went off. Still didn't officially get everything cleaned up, but I wanted to get them out of the ovens before they overbaked. Here we go. Batch number one did not come out. I feel it. There it is. Okay, so that's got to cool now. Okay, now let's get this one. I want to show you, so let me see if I can get this one through and grab it just so I can give you a quick look. Ooh, okay. So I see some browning here. Okay, so they have, they feel, they actually feel like they've crispied up a little bit. All right, good. All right, let me let those cool just a little. And we'll put the chocolate ones in. Okay, it's just like a fine restaurant. The presentation is key. Actually, I could just grab them now. One. 
They're nice and brown on the bottom. Definitely darker brown, like my fingers. Okay, there is well, pastry number one. And here comes pastry number two. Just gonna give them a little press. Just to keep them lower than the pan edge. You have a little bit of room, but not a ton of room. Okay. Into the oven. Okay, number one. How long do these bake? I didn't hear the door. Okay, uh, 12 minutes. Okay, and you can make more. It says make more. All right, well, we're just gonna leave it at that. Okay, I'll be back. All right, I am back. We're doing dipping fun. I hope you're all having fun. Watch me. Uh, my twists do not look as beautiful as that. Now, they do look as beautiful as the box, I must say. Actually, one of them might pass. This one right here might pass for close. Uh, theirs, of course, look spectacular. But they are experts. I am not. All right, so dipping fun. Pour one chocolate dip mix. Oh, we have five minutes, 50 seconds. So don't be alarmed if that goes off and I forget. Did I grab the right mix? I hope so. Chocolate dip, yeah. Okay, there was only one of those. Whew. Be a good second word of the day. This will be a good time. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know if I've ever used this one. I forgot what the first one was. I kind of remember, but I can go back and check that. The next one is, let's see, twist. Did I say twisterino? How's that one? If I said that, then now you have the same word twice. Okay, four teaspoons. One, two, Three, four. Mix until smooth. Not smooth. How about smooth arena? Yeah, let's do that one. Not smooth. Mm, looking smooth. Let's get you right in there because that looks pretty delicious. Mmm. Smooth. With a wee bit of chunk in there. Mmm. Come on. Would you try it? Whip it up. Mmm, okay. Now that looks smooth. All right, so we have three minutes. Perfect for me to get this all out of here. And again, take some, maybe take a moment here just to say thank you. Thank you very much for watching, being so kind, and you know, bearing with me as I go through each of these mixes for the first time. Never before trying them. So let's get this out of the way. I know there's some twist experts out there. Give me your twisting advice. How's that? Okay, so oven one, oven two. That was nice having double ovens. I guess I could kill two minutes and 45 seconds. All right, so here's the situation. With those other mixes, let me grab them. Now, uh, there's a chance, there's a slight chance that before this video goes live, I'll have to already have the next video done. So when I promise you to pick, I'm gonna say, 
you're probably, hmm, which one would you all pick? And which one should I do next? What would you say? What would you say? What would you say? Hmm, let's hold that one. You're probably not going to say that. You're probably going to say one of these two. This one probably be good because it looks like we're getting closer to December. So chocolate truffles. I'm going to do chocolate truffles next. And by then, you can pick the last two. How's that sound? Fair? Thank you. Because sometimes I have to pre-make videos a week in advance, knowing what's coming up in the real world. All right, so Easy Bake Ultimate Oven Chocolate Truffle. So it just looks like you're making little cakes and then rolling them up. I don't know if you're making the cake and then crumbling them. We'll have to see. Looks interesting, but I'll get that one done next. All right, so we have one minute. And 25 seconds. How much more time can I t kill? What else can I show you? Hold on, wait. Oh, how about this? This is another basket of mixes. Yes. Mm. Okay, these I've done, but not this version. The sweet and savory. I don't remember. Maybe I have. Uh, Easy Bake Devil's Food, Easy Bake Chocolate Blonde, Sugar Cookie Chocolate. Now, a lot of these I have done. Uh, Easy Bake Cookie Real Fill. This is the heart-shaped cutter to create pretty cookie designs. And then here's another version. See, a lot of times I get versions of the same kit, but a little bit different. It looks like the same kit. They're just, uh, maybe, I don't know, whatever. All right, timer's about to go off. I don't, I, think, I don't think I could show you anything else at this point. Well, actually, yeah, I could show you a lot more, but let's see. Where are we at? They actually smell like they're coming near the end of their time, so let's get them out. Hmm. I don't want to say burnt, but it's a what's going on smell. Let's check this one. Oh. Yeah, they are. They're a little burnt on that. Oh, 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 no. Get back together. Oh, wait, too much going on. Hot, hot. Let's push this one out. Okay, there we go. Okay, let's get those on another tray. I must see if I can move them to this tray. Why are you give me such a hard time? Okay, so the one, we're going to use this one. Let's just set this down. We'll put this one on the, I'm calling this the junk tray. And then let's get that out of the way. Let's get this one out. Don't fall. Ooh, three, two, look at that presentation. Okay, it is time to taste them. Okay, I was going to say, these look very delicioso, but is that a word, delicioso? That's your third word. I've given you some really tough words, maybe four, let me know. And then these are what I would call the scrapolas. Mm -hmm. The ones that you would not want to give to your guests. I can't waste that. So let me take this one here first. Oh yeah, look how dark that is. We're going to get a good crispy. Ooh, and they're still soft though. They're still soft on the top. Really brown on the bottom. Let's see. Yeah, they're all like that. So 12 minutes. Unless too long. But I'm not going to stop eating it. Look at that. It's not unmanageable for my taste buds, if you know what I'm saying. Mmm, where's that spoon? I think I need to do this. Boop. Don't look. Reminds me of pudding. It's really good. All right, the chocolate twists, excellent. Let's try one of these. 
they seem to be sturdy like they're holding up. Cinnamon twists. Mmm. All right. I like them. A little scattered today's video, huh? I guess I was just a little uncomfortable with the way these turned out, but drop that in there. Taste is everything, right? Turn your turn your eyes away. Mmm. Alright. I'm gonna say they came out great. Do I like the set? Yeah. Do I like the twists? These, I would come up with another method to make them like that. These came out great. I wouldn't bake them for 12 minutes though. Maybe 10. But they still mm, are very good. And there you go. Thanks for watching everybody. Remember what's next. I'm going to do the chocolate truffles. I'm just going to get that done. You know, with holidays around the corner. I need to build up videos so I can, you know, relax and enjoy my family and our time together. And that's what I do. I have probably seven videos sitting there waiting to go live. And I want maybe 15 or 20 before December. So I'm really going to get as much as I can done. This way, I can get to some Christmas videos with Butch. We're planning on getting together and doing that. Don't know what we're going to do this year, but we had a lot of fun at Halloween. So maybe we'll do something like that. I don't know. And thanks for watching, everybody. Later! If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh yeah, please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a Lucky Penny, pick it up.